all right welcome back bros yo welcome back to i don't know what part this is but welcome back and today i think the voice projection is definitely gonna be better because i'm doing this from an office somewhere in h town baby just trying to make sure the videos are correct so without wasting much time let's just let's just do this yes so today what we're gonna do is we're going to carry on from where we left in some of the previous videos so in the previous two videos what we did is i showed you guys the basic elements of a roof so that before we start doing these drawings we actually have an idea of what we are placing on the plan and everything so for the first roof that we're going to do the first thing that we're going to do the layout that we want yes i know everybody wants us to do this layout that we have on the drawing or this fancy drawing but yo dude we have to start from something that's much much simpler so with this one what we have to do is as i told you from the last drawing we're going to start with a gable roof so as we saw in the previous drawing where i was explaining the basic elements of the roof i told you this is the 3d drawing of what you see in real life in reality and um this is what you see when you're walking from the streets or you're driving by this is what you get to see and this is when you strip the roof down to the naked i don't know what you want to call it maybe it's um the skeleton or whatever it is but yes that is when your roof is naked baby and then lastly what we have right here is the layout okay sorry i just connected my phone galaxy j2 bro yo dude i'm struggling out on the streets using a wag samsung bro anyways so like i told you we want to create the layout so this is it's good for you to visualize what we're doing so basically the layout as you can see it just represents how the trusses would look like from the plan from above so going back to our drawing we're gonna start with a gable roof right i showed you how to create the overhang clean the drawing if you want if we, this is your first video please subscribe and like this video and share it but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna post a link at the top where you can just click and see my first second and third and fourth video where i teach you how to get from let me just zoom out from this type of drawing that you have on the screen and basically you remove the red dress if you still remember from uh, video two and then you end up with this frame structure which is the green the green represents the 230 walls and the yellow represents the overhang of the roof and as i showed you last time you offset is 600 from the ex last or the extremities of the walls so with the gable roof like i told you all you have to do is to create um what we call the ridge line right and this basically all the roof line and i told you with the gable roof all you have to do is just get to the midpoint and then you get to the other midpoint and you're good to go and then let's just match the properties so there you have your ridge line yeah exactly baby this is the ridge line so what you do when you have the ridge line with the gable roof the first thing you got to do is you have to come get your line command on then you come to the midpoint of uh, the longest side which is what i'll call ly in this case then you just snap to the midpoint and then you go to the other side and then you snap to the midpoint as well so now you have your first line so this is your full span truss um in 3d this is the truss what you just did is just you represented this truss and you just put it on the layout so this line stands in for the truss so what i prefer to do is for my trusses i like to have them in cyan baby so yep there we go it's in cyan so what you start doing now that you are uh, you come to the main point you start offsetting because there's a you just start to place your trusses so what you have to do is to offset your trusses so the rule of offset i use is it's 750 if uh the roof covering that is this material that you see right here which is in this funny color i don't know but it's a shade of blue or gray it all depends i'm i don't know man it's it's up to you so that material so if the material is concrete tiles or anything that's really heavy you want to do 750 and that's 750 millimeters and if it's something that's a little bit lighter for example we're talking chroma deck roofing materials or we're talking about asbestos or something that's really light or even you know just some light roof i don't know what materials you use or are available in your country or wherever you are but that's what you have to do 
so what you start doing is you start offsetting this 750 because i'm going to assume this is concrete tiles but i'm going to show you i'm going to do the same for asbestos or chroma deck as well or any light roofing materials so we're going 750 all you got to do is just do the 750 bro 750 we going huh so there's a quicker command that you can use uh which is the array thing but yo just offset is easy because i want to teach you on the basics before we start doing the array command so i'll definitely do that in another video but what we're doing is just the basics you start offsetting these lines by 750 just do that 750 and then you get to the last end um this one now this well where you need engineering judgment so as you can see i just offset this line by 750 but when you start to look or when you zoom out this truss is not hanging anyway dude it's actually in the air this is not correct you cannot have a truss which is just hanging on its own which doesn't have a wall to support its end as you saw from uh, those drawings um, like this one this truss has to hang on the wall plate right and once you get let me just go back to the drawing let me just go back to the drawing this one is way over you know you just pass the walls it's now hanging in the free air this is just the overhang so don't let that fool you it's now way past so this line is not important you have to delete that but that's where this is the difference now between a machine software and you because you use your engineering eye now to just like look at this thing and say okay this now doesn't make sense this makes sense so once you have done that for one side so luckily with the gable roof things there's a lot of symmetry so now you select all these lines and then you come up to your drawing dash then you just mirror these things you gotta mirror i hope you know how to use the mirror command and then uh, yeah do you want to copy or do you want to know do you want to erase the source objects no you don't want to do that there's an n that's the default and bam baby you have your truss layout so a gable roof is the easiest roof you could do it also works the same even if it was smaller what you was going to do is you were going to come up just go to the midpoint snap to the midpoint turn this in a sign you know just make sure it's signed so it's good to you then you offset this so for this time i'm gonna go with uh let's just assume this roof is asbestos or light roof or it's a light roof so with the light roof the offset is 1100 millimeters bro and uh well don't 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 worry yourself too much about where did those numbers come from because in reality you have to analyze the lords and everything but this is sort of a safety measure you know i like to sleep well as an engineer dude and i don't know about you but i like to sleep well so if you want to sleep well let me just tell you if you want to sleep well stick with 750 if the roofing material is high and uh let's just sorry about that let me just do i'm not sure what the offset was so i'll check but so stick with 750 if uh it's a heavy roof and you expect to have some some material or equipment on top you know some geezers um anything solar panels or you expect some some loading on the roof let's just say wind loads or anything that you can think of so definitely so i told you if it's a light roof you gotta go with 1100 so that's just the gist of it there you go there you go this is 1100 and like you see that truss is hanging on it so it's not important so you just drop it off and then all you got to do is mirror this and uh there we go we mirror this we mirror that and then you want to erase the source objects definitely no bro and uh you're done so with this thing is you don't just end here right you now have to annotate so that the contractor who's on the ground knows what the distance is is uh between each truss so there you go man that's what you gotta do and as i told you if it's a lighter roof all you have to do is just uh make sure it's 1100 so you indicate that to the contractor so that they know okay i'm placing my trusses at 1100 and like i told you this we were assuming this green line denotes the outermost edge off the walls so what you have to do is you also make sure that you dimension so that they know that this is 600 from the walls and then this first truss is definitely something like i don't know what it is 555 from the wall so you want to put it somewhere in the middle so that yo 
they know this is 555 from there to there you fell so let me just push this down for a bit yeah they know so they they know that this is 555 from uh, the outer edge as well so we let's just see if it's the same this side let's just see let's just see it's also 555 because it's mirrored baby so now when these people are working and they start setting what they do is they come to the outer edge and they like okay so it's 555 from here and then also you want to dimension from the walls to the outer walls as well so that they know okay this is a total 14 310 and then also maybe you want to show them from the overhang to the middle it's going to be something it's going to be so it's when you start dimensioning these things it's for ease of work so that these people actually understand let me just show you so in case for this one uh it's 750 so that the guy knows okay 750s and also we you know you are allowed to make this even smaller than 750 because just think of it as um with as spaces as just think of it as a six pack right so the more cuts you have you know the more cuts you have if you have a one pack you know the distance between the next division that is just under your chest to your navel is is like one you just let's just say that's 1000 millimeters right so if you have a of you have a two pack the division is now smaller you know you you start you start with a division just under your chest then under the six the two pack and then at the navel but when you get to a four pack think Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, you know Mr. Olympia that was good I'm a bodybuilding fan so think Arnold Schwarzenegger with a four pack you never had a six pack you can check the photos I'm telling you so with that now the division or the distance between each division get smaller and now when you get a people like Simeon Panda or Ulysses you know those guys they rocking eight packs 12 packs dude you know the cuts when the cuts the, the distance between the divisions get smaller you know when you rock in a two pack is different from when you rock in a six pack rocking a 12 pack the distance gets smaller so and it also means as you can see now when the 12 pack the distance gets smaller and dude is rocking a rock hard abs and it's his core is much stronger so it just means your roof is going to be stronger so 750 i'm telling you is just a number that we use to make sure that we we are safe so like i told you this is the purpose of now when you start annotating this you annotate you annotate so that these guys know okay when i'm setting out i'm starting it's going to be for example this is going to be the first trust they start setting out right so they will start with 539 they go there they start doing that as well and uh yeah so i just noted a mistake this trust was actually not supposed to be there these ones are not because they're hanging out in the roof man so this was a mistake we're definitely going to clear this out so yeah we're definitely going to clear this out sometimes you know you're doing stuff and things happen you get carried away but mistakes do happen so like i told you so now they know you start starts certain distance from this they also know this wall is a certain distance there's a 230 wall there's a 115 wall so that's the purpose of annotation as well so once you're done you annotate your drawing it's just let me just check how much time I have left. I have 30 minutes, so yeah, you just annotate your drawing. Let me just show you. So you would come up. This will be the initial truss layout, right? So you annotate this one with 100, 100 going all over the place. Just going from this. You do the same what you did. Well, it's based, since it's basically the same, this is not the best thing you want to do, but I just do this anyway. So you can mirror that, just mirror that, and then, yeah it's because when it comes to dimensions you really want to dimension the thing so this is done you have created your layouts and you start so ladies and gentlemen this was the first layout for what we call the ridge roof so the same thing would happen here you would also want to annotate this linear let me just show you this is a 750 and what you want to do is just continue this dimension 750 750 750 750 750 750 750 750 till you're done okay it's uh that's the thing so yeah thank you for tuning in this is the rare gig boys and uh if you have any questions today is also kudzi Demer's birthday happy birthday bro shout out to you shout out to max shout out to everybody and yo i was with the boy panache and if any of you guys also we were just doing some things on this roof if anyone 
wants to hit me up get more tutorials or just want some information on how to do these things you can definitely hit me up my email is at mr civil dot no it's actually mr civil zw at gmail dot com so yep and so to all those homies who have my number if you want my number just yo drop drop a hint in the comment box and then we can start chatting and you could get these roofs in no time so i'm gonna pause this video right now just cut it off and then we're gonna continue so in the next video what i'm gonna do is i'm coming back and then i'm gonna show you how to do the truss layout for this simple hip roof we're not gonna do this really large one we're just gonna do the simple hip roof and then once we're done what i'm gonna do is we're gonna start on the elevation so let's start with the simple hip roof for the next video and yo guys like every time i love you guys so please don't hesitate please just hit the subscribe button if you're new like this video share it hit the subscribe button and dude i'm dropping links to my other videos on this series and you can just uh click on them and then just do it so see you next time people and yo rachel still love you baby